Yeah, my father was a big, was, is my biggest role model. And uh, growing up, he didn't pressure us to play basketball. He didn't force us to do anything. And I think just being around him and the fact that he played basketball was just normal for us. So we kind of picked this up. Um, and then as we got older, uh, he would give us his opinions on things. And uh, we would have questions and he would, it was, he was a great person, a great asset to have to um, you know, direct you in the right direction or help you if you need help on the basketball court. At like an early age, I, could, I felt this inside. Um, just because I started, my dad said, my mom said when I was two years old I could dribble without traveling, just up and down the court. So I think, I believe being around basketball at such a young age, it just helped develop those skills, my motor skills. And um, I, I was in the gym a lot as a kid. Same with Nick, we would, you know, and bas basketball is big in the U.S., so as a kid, middle school, high school, that's all we did. We, it was fun for us, so all those hours, it developed us, and personally, I could tell, like, my hard work was making me better than other kids. So, yeah. It's different, we're different. Um, different players, like I'm more of a point guard, Nick's more of like a bigger player, so he's more of a shooting guard. Um, it's just totally different. Like growing up, we would always play one-on-one -on -one and have battles and it'd end up in a fight a lot of times. I'm a supporter of him, he supports me. So it's not about winner and loser to me now. As a kid, yeah, but now, no. I do, um, I don't follow it on TV or the internet, but uh, I watch the box scores. And uh, we talk almost after we talk uh, after most games. Yeah, he said it was a a good place for him to um, find himself again because his first year he was in Belgium. And yeah. He left early, so he had to find his footing again. And he said it was a great place. Capoeira was a great place for him to get back on track. He said the people were very nice. He uh, he always told stories about. Um, Tomas, I think the physio guy, or is that Tomas? He said a lot of funny stories about him. For and example, do you remember? So he was always joking, making jokes. He couldn't speak English very well, but they understood each other. Yeah. And um, he said the people were nice and he enjoyed his time. Not really. I wish I did, I felt it more, but growing up, um, being born in Belgium and living in France as a kid, sometimes I feel more French sometimes because I was in France till I was eight years old and I was in French school till that age because my father was playing in France so I could read, write, speak French perfectly. So I don't really, uh, you know, personally I don't feel a pull towards Finland. My grandpa tells me stories sometimes. Definitely the higher level you go, like EuroLeague, Euro Cup, and like the VTB League in Russia. It's this really good basketball. All those players are high level. Um, every position, is, there's no weakness, you know? So uh, the differences are very small in the details. Um, but as you see, the team with the most money have the best players. So I think it's the same everywhere in the world. And, but the level is very good. Some of my nicest memories were playing in Belgium. Um, we won the Super Cup there and lost in the championship game five. But um, my favorite memories were playing with those guys, the group of players. We had awesome chemistry. And it's just very difficult, the more I play on different clubs, to find that chemistry with those players. So that felt like we were brothers. It felt like I was in college again. We all. Nobody was jealous or selfish. We all understood each other. And we were like brothers. Politics. Um, yeah, it's in the news right now. I was pretty surprised when I saw Trump got elected. Um, but uh, it was a big shock, I'll be honest. But I don't think it's going to be as dramatic as people think. He had to say a lot of these things to get elected. And uh, I think he'll have a lot of people, a strong team around him to make wise decisions.
Right now it's a shock, but I don't think it'll be that dramatic. At least I hope not. Uh, maybe. Uh, anything's a possibility. It, uh, it depends how life is, how the situation is with the team. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's something uh, we haven't done since high school. So uh, that could be a lot of fun. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've heard great things about Capo Jouar, so if that can happen and everything lines up, that'd be awesome. So, but for now, I'm just taking it a year at a time, game at a time. So 2018 is two years away. Yeah. So we will see. Okay.